Hi everyone, welcome to December Empties. I have four categories of hair, personal items, supplements, and makeup. And I'll put skip ahead times below. I try to put the newer items at the beginning of each section. So if you've been with me for a while, you can skip the repeats. For the hair, jojoba oil. I love this in my freshly shampooed wet hair and in my dry hair. My hair being blonde, I need as much shine as I can get and that means oil. And I just put a drop of this on my hands, rub it together, and very lightly put it through. And yes, I do this even when I flip my hair. Um, today I've got it straight. Usually when I wash it, I wear it like this for the first day. And then I'll flip it for the next two, three days until I wash it again. Mark likes it better flipped. And I feel like it has a lot more sass to it and you know it's just kind of fun. This is just more contemporary but it's not as sassy I guess. It's kind of sleek and this is the Trader Joe's hair mask. I used to mix it with this. I'm still using up various ones that I have of this. When it's done I will not be repurchasing as I have confirmed that Trader Joe's has mandated the jab. I've had several friends that got fired from there and it breaks my heart. So I am not supporting them anymore. Instead, I am going back to my beloved Shea Moisture. Um, I'll have to link it below. It's got the rosemary and it's wonderful. It's not as thick as this, which is a good thing because then my jojoba oil mixes in really easily. And I just don't know how I got away from that Shea Moisture, but I am loving being back to it. I am coloring my hair probably every six weeks or so. I use the Rue Fancyful on the roots around the four week mark and I can get away with it for a week or two, but I like it better when it's colored. I'm just trying to be kinder to my hair, but it grows so fast, that's okay, I can damage it. <laughs> so I love my Revlon. And what I did this last time was probably half of the 04, a splash of 81 and 71, I wouldn't buy both. I would just get probably the 81. And I do about three quarters of that and then a little splash of 55, which is really, really red, but it gives it some richness. The variations in my hair, whether that's the strands or the gray, <laughs> absorb things differently. So it doesn't end up with all one color. So I just take an empty Revlon little bottle that I have and fill it up with half the 04 and then I did if I only had one I would do less than half of one of these and then just the last bit of the 55 mix it all up I save the unused portions of the bottles for next time I only have a few personal items I've been trying to use up my toothpaste I want to switch to uh, fluoride no SLS no anything <laughs> no bad stuff and I think it, that's going to be Hello, which several of you recommended. I have the Hello um, charcoal one that I used before I whitened my teeth, which I love. But for my regular one, there's the Hello, I think it's a coconut and tea tree oil. And I'm really enjoying that. But like I said, I'm trying to use these up. This was a two-step crest. Would not repurchase. I don't have time for two-step. I'm lucky if I do the one step. No, I do the one step all the time, morning and night, but two step is too much. It's just not worth it. I did love this Crest White and it's really affordable off of Amazon, but it has fluoride. And like I said, I'm trying to switch away from that just to, I'm never going to be 100% clean in what I'm putting on my body, in my body, eating, I'm trying to improve in some areas and if I can't be perfect then I think what goes inside my mouth like with a toothpaste and what I eat is the most important and that's what I'm trying to clean up. What goes on the outside, I'm not saying it's not important but I'm not going to fret about it as much. Like Mark says, I'll get hit by a bus. <laughs> so, my Sure Deodorant Fresh and Cool, love this, swear by this in Arizona. I have been trying to find something that's more natural, but it doesn't keep me dry. I have not found anything, and I don't like doing wet. And in Arizona, where we get over 120, no, that's not cool. 
Sure. Fresh and cool is very cool. For supplements, this Mirinda Supreme, I cannot even tell you how much I swear by it. This is like a very pure, concentrated form of noni, which comes from the fruit. This boosts your immune, it helps reduce inflammation, it helps with your immune system. I wasn't feeling well lately, popped some of this, some monolaurin. I always take my zinc and my vitamin D, which I'll get to in a minute, and I was feeling better by the next day. It is amazing. This Mirinda gives me the boost. When I'm not sleeping as much as I should, when I am working too much, when I'm straining my body in ways that isn't good, Mirinda is my friend. I also love, uh, that I don't have in here, the Chinese Coptis for detoxing and the charcoal. If I can do those three, and my monolaurin and some other things I'll show you, but those three are once a quarter, I'm golden. And it puts me back on my feet again. My eyes show when I'm not doing well. And the night before I did this, it was awful. I couldn't have filmed. It was that bad. Took this, woke up the next morning, million bucks. So swear by the Mirinda, will not want to be up without it. The D3K2, this is what we take in the winter time. It's 10,000 IU. You might say, ah, oh, that's a lot. It is a lot. We are not outside as much in the winter time. In the summertime, I take one to maybe 5,000 IU, depending on how much we're outside. I adjust our pills. We take different during the week when we're sitting at our computer than we do on weekends. This, during the winter though, when we aren't outside as much because it's cold up here, that's pretty much year you know for that season and it takes a few months if you were to go to the doctor and get a prescription they would give you a high dose of vitamin d and put you on it for maybe three to six months so it takes a while to fix things in your system this cod liver oil by carlson do not recommend will not repurchase i underlined in red here soybean oil i was so ticked that this had soybean oil. Instead, what I do recommend is this Amazon Omega Norwegian cod liver oil. No soybean oil, no uh, yeast, wheat, gluten, dairy, corn, soy, egg, sugar, tree nuts. This is much, much better, and I also think it's a better price. And then finally, if you want something different than the cod liver oil, the Omega 3s, I do like the Carlson for that one, but I'm still recovering and being ticked with them for the soybean oil. <laughs> I hold a grudge. And then this potassium, I'm not saying it's the best quality, but I take a potassium and a magnesium when I go to bed. One, it helps me sleep, and two, it helps prevent leg cramps. And both of those things are very important. I also love my electrolyte formula. Swear by that one. And then my thyroid pills, if you haven't had your che yours checked, get them checked. I've been on Levo and Armour varying doses for 20 years, and I've got to make time to go into my functional doctor. I do not know if he'll be able to get me off of them or not, but I want to explore it with him and see if maybe through selenium, iodine, other more natural things that I could get off of the thyroid. But we'll see. I'll keep you posted. And then makeup, I don't have a lot, but I'm pretty proud of what I have. I call nail glue makeup because this is part of my making myself up, how I like to be. And this is the super glue. I get two for a dollar. They come in this little pack at the dollar store. Love, love, love this. And it means my nails stay on. If I put them on and hold it, then they stay on for about the two week mark. I can also test them and if I feel them lifting up at the back or like this way, then I can put a little drop underneath and get another few days out of them. But I try to change them roughly every two weeks. This Wet n Wild bronzer in Sunset Strip Tees, I loved it, but the cheaper bronzers from the drugstore tend to disappear quicker. The more baked type of ones, like Milani has the baked bronzers, those last much longer. So maybe you're only paying a couple dollars for this, but when it disappears really fast, you be the judge if that's what you want or not. 
I would do both. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, there it doesn't work out to be that much more if you buy a you know a twelve dollar Milani bronzer that lasts you several months versus I don't know two or three dollar bronzer that you're replacing more often. I'm okay with either one as long as I like them. This is from ColourPop, and I almost used it up. It's got a little bit there. I'm letting it go. It dried out my lips. And yes, it took me a while to figure that out. I had it on my desk, and I would put it on in between meetings. And I was like, ah, I've got dryness and scabbies and peelies. And it wasn't from my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lip Stain that I'm wearing. And somebody's going to ask. This one is self-starter. But I love those and they're not moist, but they don't make your lips peel. They are, you know, not hard on your lips. This, way too hard, so I'm letting that go. This is an Essence lip liner and I, it's a um, wind up. I went through it. I really like it. I prefer the ones that you sharpen because they seem to last longer for me. This is the Essence, it's worn off, I'm not sure what it is, Make Me Brow. I really like it. Uh, since I have had my uh, brows done, I just go like that and it helps them stay up, especially I've laminated them now as well, so they stay up, but it just adds that little bit of color that I need on the inside. I really like this. I am going to try the Wet n Wild because my drugstore doesn't carry essence and I'm too busy in the valley to make it to an Ulta. So I would rather have things that I can get at my drugstore. So I'm going to try the Wet n Wild or the Elf one. That's what I'm going to try, the Elf one. I've heard really good things about that. The, I think they have a $2 and a $4 one. It's the $4 one. I've heard really good things about that it thickens your brows and holds them. So I'll give that a try. This is the old Maybelline Superstay 24 hour. I told you I was using the new 30 hour one. I love it, love it, love it. And I went back and I used this one. I really love this one as well. I would have been okay if they didn't change the formula. I love both, I'm glad, but I made myself go back and use this one up. So that's everything that I have. I am going to stay the course with my makeup use up and I'm enjoying everything that I have and rediscovering it. Just in case you're wondering, I let myself rotate on my lips and my eyeshadow. I pretty much use the same of everything else, as you can see, by using up a bronzer. I might rotate occasionally on the blush, but I'm just rotating on the eyeshadow is enough. I really love my makeup and I love using what I bought because I wanted it so badly. And it's fun using it all up. I enjoy doing my makeup every day and I enjoy what I have and I hope that you are as well. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I always appreciate it. Oops. And I hope you're having a wonderful day and we'll talk to you next time.